Hi guys, I'm Nick from AI House Malaysia. So today I'll be showing all of you how did I draw this home cinema. Right, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I already start off creating my floor plan, uh, which is my layout. Okay, so right now, what I can do is I would like to set up the wall hike. Okay, so I am going to change it to 3000. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is save the file first. So that my setup of the wall height wouldn't change automatically all right so make sure i save it first okay so the next thing we are going to do is we can start putting in our doors okay so this is a 2d okay we can view it in 3d 3d looks something like that okay so let's go back to 2d and let's start putting in our door okay so i all i do is just drag it out from the cloud library all right so just drag it i'm going to place it over here so click on to the door and then i can always resize okay i can always resize it one one okay one nine nine seven all right over here 1350 for my length okay so the thickness i'll maintain 260 and for my height I'll, i will change it to 3000 so same as my ceiling height 3000 okay so maybe over here 997 let's see okay 997 all right so inside my walkthrough mode i can actually see my door okay so i would like to hide my cornice first okay so now i already have my door okay so this is a home cinema so there are no windows so i won't be putting in any windows okay so next i will start by doing this stage okay so i am going to create a stage for my projector okay so i can go into my customization and i'm going to use the ceiling function all right so click onto my floor and then click on platform design so as you can see over here this is my 2d layout all right so over here you can also see your 3d okay so please use it while you are drawing inside your 2d okay so the first thing i'm going to do is by drawing a rectangle okay so i can just randomly draw a shape okay after that i can always resize so my length 4790 uh, <coughs> sorry so my length would be 4300 okay and then my width i'm going to change it to 1500 okay so this one off the wall i'm going to extrude it 2500 all right so i'm going to extrude it so elevation i'll just keep it 500 then right now i can always adjust my placing okay so let's see let's see the shape length is 4300 okay Zero zero zero, one five zero zero. Okay, let's move it this way. All right, perfect. Okay, so I've created one side of my stage right now. I'll go continue on over this side okay so right now i'm going to use the multi-segment function okay which is also call it we call it free drawing so i can always click on to okay multi-segment so i can start drawing the shape that i want right 
so I can start by drawing something like that simple join join them all together alright so and then once you join them all together remember you must click on the corner link and then remember to transfer it to an area okay so transfer it to an area after that I can resize them okay or maybe not I'm not going to resize this is the shape that I want so I'm just going to change extrude it 2500 okay so now I have two sides of my stage so over here over here as you can see I'm moving on my 3d so in front of this stage I'll be putting a semi circle okay it's also a stage but it's a semi circle okay so I'm going to use the rectangle okay just so just draw a rectangle and then I'm going to use the circle all right okay so I've drawn one rectangle and then one circle so the next thing I'm going to do is adjust the edges of my circle as you can see as I make it I increase my edges my circle just went smoother okay so now I'm going to hold on to my control button or maybe I can actually resize this uh, not so big they resize it pretty perfect all right so now I can hold on to my control button and then okay or maybe I move this slightly to 680 right so I move it slightly to my so I have a rectangle and a circle but I want to make it a semicircle I just want a semicircle shape so I'm going to use the boolean calculation method okay so hold hold your control button and then select the rectangle and then select the circle right click boolean operation intersection all right so I've got my semicircle over here so I can always rotate by pressing T all right I can always zoom in to adjust the placing so of course I need to rotate slightly a little bit more okay T okay you can always press your control hold on to your control button <coughs> so I still need to rotate a little bit more just slightly a little bit okay so now let's see okay now I need to rotate back a little bit Okay, you can also use the dimension to adjust your placing okay your placement one six six one four six five let's see all right if this looks okay then maybe I right now I can always resize cut it a little bit smaller okay cut it a little bit smaller or drag it slightly longer and then over here push it slightly you know Yeah. slight all right so I have my shape already right now the same thing click on my semicircle and extrude it up to 1500 okay so let's if let's say this is a bit too small maybe I can still always with like just drag it a little bit longer all right 
so now I have my stage ready okay so once I'm done I can always return okay so this is the view in my 3d I've created this in the ceiling function okay so now go next thing we are going to do is we can start creating our ceiling okay so just now same thing we are still inside the ceiling function but right now i click on to my ceiling design okay so this is my ceiling so add on my ceiling if you remember huh? if, when i show you my picture of my home cinema there's a circle okay that's a ceiling like this okay so how do i create that okay so we are going to draw a circle in the middle okay so just draw a random circle next thing you can always resize okay so let's resize them first 2076 for my length okay so for my width is 2071 Okay, so my age ages I'm going to make it 50 all right so as you can see it went smoother again off the wall I'm just going to extrude 200 all right I'm just going to extrude 200 okay so so for this one I'm going to make it elevation back to 3000 okay sorry 2990 okay so I have this coming down as you can see in my 3d okay i have this circle ceiling coming down all right so let's check the dimensions okay so if it's all correct right now we can always adjust the placement okay so over here would be to uh, okay let's redo okay let's 2291 okay so over here is 1623 okay so over here automatically 2600 and here is 1136 all right so perfect i got my ceiling done created okay so right now i can actually start throwing in okay let's see all right over here this one okay i am going to build a column okay i'm going to put in a column two columns all right it's like a panel okay so what i'm going to do is double click onto my platform platform design the floor so over here i can click on this stage the long the long one and then i can always use chamfer right so i'm just going to do this the two front okay so i'm going to batch edit so this for this side i'm going to put an inside okay no should be this side sorry so this one right angle correct so let's start over here this one inside all right so as you can see so when i change the radius okay inside right angle my radius would be 400 okay 400 for my radius so same thing i want to change just the front these two okay so inside right angle radius 400 so as you can see i've created a shape okay so now we can always return and then go to our type and then drag in a column okay so we can drag in a column maybe you can always hide this cinema first okay let's see okay so we can always adjust this column over here okay so the column we can always change the size so for the size I'm going to for my length is 400 okay my thickness is 400 so for this one I am going to put it to 990 all right 
so this is one one zero six okay one one zero six so five nine zero two okay so I'm actually using the dimensions to put in my column as you can see all right so maybe one one zero six okay one one zero five let's adjust it perfectly okay so now I just need another one so what I can do is I can always copy all right copy put it right here all right same thing for this one 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 zero five okay so over here let's see three nine zero two okay so let's check inside the 3d okay so everything looks perfect i have my columns done okay I have my door build okay so now let's move on to our platform okay so i'll put my chairs cinema chairs here but i want to create a platform so platform same thing we can always drag it over here on the structural component so drag my platform so i'm going to place it right over here same thing i can always click on the platform to resize so for my length i'm going to resize it to 4002 and for my thickness i'm going to resize it to 1005 and for my height i will resize it to 300 okay so over here make sure you put it perfectly okay so this would be i'll put a row of chairs here and then another one at the bottom all right so right now we can actually start putting in materials okay so basically the structure of everything is completed so let's start putting in materials and also models right and also later on we will only be doing the lightings all right so let's start by putting in materials so i can always go to my favorites okay i'll go to my cloud okay so first thing i'm going to start putting in is the panel all right for my column all right so i'm just going to put this like that all right so put this perfect Okay, maybe I can rotate. Okay, I can always rotate it. Let's see that side is it empty? Yes, this side is empty, so correct. So I'm going to just put it in like that. Okay. Make sure you can always adjust, adjust it. All right, so I have one side done, so I'm going to do it for the and second one. All right, so let me just put it here. All right, same thing, drag it up. Okay, so make sure this is all four sides covered. Yes, perfect. So I have this side done, maybe here's another one. 
Alright, so I have these two pillars done with my decoration. It looks like a wall panel thing. It's a wooden wall panel, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is put in the materials of my stage, right? So maybe I'm going to use this solid wallpaper. Okay, I'm just going to put a solid wallpaper on my stage to cover up first. Okay. So let's see what's the difference. Okay, I can always undo and I can always put in my wall panel. Okay, and I can always resize. Yeah, I can always resize. Alright, so I have my wall panel, okay, so I can always Three five zero zero. Okay, this is perfect. So the width, maybe I don't want it to be so thick, so I just put it one hundred, and then I can always push it. Yeah. Okay, so now I can always. Uh, for the hike, let's see, let's go 500. Right. Okay, so same as my ceiling. Just now we did 500 for the elevation, if you still remember. Okay, so maybe this one, my width, I change it to just 70, not too thick. And let's push it in a little bit more. Alright, so now we can actually put in colors. Okay, so we are putting colors right here. Okay, so over here, this one, don't forget, black color. Okay, so over here, we need some gray. Okay, we are not going to do full black. We need some gray over here, must be black. Black. Okay, so we put this like that. So over here, make sure you same thing. You throw in the colors. All right. So the next thing we are going to do is put in the materials into these small bars. Okay. So we can just drag one onto it. Okay, and then we don't have to drag in one by one. All right. We can go back to our customized ceiling function. And then we can always right click and use the all same style function. As you can see, it helps you to pave across fully. Right? Alright, so I've painted everything. So now for my towels. Alright, so for my towels, I will be putting in, let's see. Okay, so let's put in my light, my lighting combination first. Okay, for my platform. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to paint the platform first. 
Alright, so I'm gonna make it. Gray. Alright. Gray. Okay, so now I can put in the lights. Okay, so these are the lights, the three lights. Alright, so yes, remember to hold on to your space bar when you are adjusting the likes. Okay, hold on to your space bar. Right, so now I have the colors. So next thing I can actually start putting in the sofas. Okay, so I've actually grouped them all up together. Right, so just drag them out. Hold on to my space bar and make sure to put them properly. Okay, so another row in front, over here, three, rotate, let's see, alright, okay, looking good, so perfect, I have my chance already, okay, so the next thing we can actually put in our television okay no not television let's put in the the sound system first all right so i can actually put one over here one speaker right over here okay i'm going to put another one over here so make sure we have two okay so and then we are going to put two big right so we have two big ones okay let's place it nicely Okay, then one more Marshall on top. Okay, so I have my speakers, my woofer, my sound system all done. Okay, so right now I can actually put in my wall panel. Okay, I can actually put in my wall panel so I can always adjust so I should know the size by over here so we know okay this one is 997 okay the door to the wall is 997 so I can always go to my size 997 that's it stick onto the wall you got it. All right, so right now this one two nine nine zero. Let's go. Okay, or maybe if this one you want, you don't want it to be so accurate. Nine nine five. Let's do this. Nine nine five. All right. So now over here, okay, I can actually drag another one here. Okay, yeah, place it. All right. So this one, I can always resize it to slightly bigger.
All right, same thing if you want to know the side, the length, which is 2K exactly. 2K, so let's see, 1950. One, right. one, okay, great. So now let me paint this black, let me paint this gray. Okay, so I can actually put in materials. Okay. So let's see what black. Right, I'm putting black as well. Okay. So I'm putting black over here. The frame is black in color as well. Alright, so over here I'm going to just put the okay, let's see from our picture. Right then over here we can put in our curtains. Right, let's see our curtains. Okay, two wall panels and then the curtain in the middle all right so two wall panel same thing since i've already changed this i can always shift drag it out shift and drag so to just to copy another one right right over here Alright, so just copy one over here. Same thing, I am going to duplicate another one over here. Alright, so in the middle, we are going to put in our curtains. So I have one curtain here already. So I'm just going to drag. Okay. Drag. And then you can always resize so we know this is uh, so we just need to follow the curtain and the doors length one three five five zero right one three sorry two k let's see two questions all right so let's put two three zero zero okay so now we are going to change the material the curtains material okay so let's change it to this all right so, so for the floor i'm going to go to cloud and put in Right, I can go to finishes. Okay, I can go to marble. Okay, marble. Or maybe I can go quads. I'm just going to put in some like this. Alright. Okay, so if I go like this. Alright, so we have pretty much the structure of this thing is done. Okay, we can actually put in some. Okay, let's see. Did we miss out any decorations? Alright. Okay, so maybe we can put in some decorations like lightings. Okay, I can put a spotlight over here. Alright, three spotlight right at the entrance. Okay, three spotlights. Alright, let's check. Okay, so now we can actually put in the TV. 
again so i can always go to and drag the tv so of course you might need to resize your tv so my tv is going to be huge so the size of my tv the length is 3470 okay so my width maintain 54 and my height is 2500 right so right now i need to adjust okay Okay, so let's check it out and see if there's any error. Okay, there's no so far. Okay, so I've put in my projector, my screen projector, maybe for a moment. Okay. Alright. Okay, looks good right now. So the last thing we want to start putting in is the likes all right the likes so i'm going to click onto my ceiling again okay so go to my circle and then i would like to put in the likes generate light okay so i can click on my section and did so i go to my section library light tube I can put in likes. <laughs> okay, so click on the like. And then the same thing over here, I want likes. Okay, so I would like to put in my brightness, I want it to be 7. Okay, my brightness I need to be seven. My width and line would be twenty-two. Okay, and the color that I want is a little bit of this color. Okay, so let me just copy. Okay, so go on to that line, copy. Okay. Paste. So I have two same likes, two like colors, and then this one I will go for 25 for the thickness of my light. Okay. Okay, so I can draw a mount. We can use a multi segment to draw. Alright, so remember same thing after you're done drawing, transfer it to an area. Now we can always click on this section at the and then we generate the likes. Okay, maybe I'll go 66 will do not too bright 50. Okay, so as you can see across the area, I will have lighting generate. So later on, I have like so same thing over here. I have paste the color. Okay, the likes I'll put six. Okay, the brightness. All right. So when I'm done, I can always just return from my ceiling. All right. So next thing I can do is same thing to put in materials onto my ceiling. Okay, so I'll just put in black, black, everything should be black. 
Alright, and for this part, the same thing we did previously, we drag in the materials onto just one square box, okay, and then you can always go inside into your ceiling function, and if you remember, right click and use all same style, so you don't have to drag in one by one. Alright, so I have my ceiling all covered with black, alright, and it looks good with the like strip huh? since i've generated like strip all right so now next thing we can do is we can actually start putting in down likes if you want to all right so we can actually start putting in down likes. so we shouldn't be putting in front of the tvs because of the reflection later so make sure all right so uh, over here i can just Put it slightly a little bit in, okay, out. Since we have a select strip over there, then over here, one, copy one, copy number two. Okay, so maybe over here we can get one more. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay, same thing, I can just... Okay. Since I have a spotlight here, I don't need a downlight. So I'll just get this. Okay, and then over here, my downlight. Okay, let's put one over here, just slightly in front, so that you can actually see my wall panel. Okay, so looks good, looks good. Okay, let's put two over here. Okay, to, to make sure we can actually see this. two likes over here okay so maybe that's a there will be a light over here if let's say we're on after we turn on the lights okay we can switch off the lights over here all right so i have all my lights ready Okay, so for now, okay, I would like to create, as you can see, as you can see, I've created all these dotted, all these dotted, okay, it's actually small few likes, okay, small few likes. So how did I do that? Okay, basically, I just use this, okay, and I just resize them literally literally resize them to as small as i could okay so let's see what's the size right now so okay no so i actually made it like 18 18 all right so it's actually this size okay this size so i did drag so this one is a downlight yes so I basically I drag and for this one you gotta make sure your lightings are all are set first. You okay, make sure your lightings are set first. Okay, so now you can shift and then just drag all across where do you want to put it. Right? not too many okay so remember the whole lot to shift all i'm doing is just copying a down line
Okay, so I have all my down likes, uh, pretty much all random, all mixed up together. Okay, if I would like to adjust, I can always adjust. Okay, I'll add. Okay, so I have all this done. Alright, so the colors are all ready. So the next thing we can do is let's check out. Okay. Okay, maybe we forget to put in some of these sockets, alright, switches. Okay, we can always add them in, no problem. Okay, we can always add this. Okay, so over here we put a switch over here. Right. Okay, let's go to cloud. Okay, maybe I would like to go to finishes, wallpaper, plain color, and then let me just check out the black color. Okay, let's see this black. All right, I got this black. This one looks much better. Okay, so this black looks much better. Okay, I'll change this and this. Okay, so as I'm done, I can actually go right into my render. Okay, so basically I've done with everything. Okay, now let's check one last time before we start doing our render. So we have um, floor, panels, models, all created. Okay, so now we hop right into the render okay so click on to my render okay so i can always choose a hd okay so make sure i'll take some okay i'll just take an angle right over here okay make sure my camera is still inside okay so i'm going to go for a natural light all right natural lighting okay so of course it doesn't really matter okay we couldn't see so now advanced settings okay so i might need to add in some fuel like what okay if not so add put one like four Okay, I'm going to add in one feel like four right over here. Okay. Then I'm going to add in one more right over here. right over here okay Let's check out in the 3D, okay, so this is my light. Okay, this is my light. Okay, 
Okay, so no likes here. Okay, remember all your lighting, your elevation, remember to set it. seven zero zero so you can actually see so if you need to add more fuel legs over here onto your 2d you can always add right so I can start adding one fuel like maybe right over here okay, two, seven, zero, zero. okay so now let's see Okay. All right. Okay, so now back to choosing our angle since we have put in all the lightings already. So back to choosing our angle, we can go to the camera settings. All right, so right now it's 90 degrees. So I just need to get my angle. Okay, so for the elevation, maybe one, just give it a random number. Okay, so let's go like that. Okay, like that. Okay, so we got a view, we can see basically something like that. Alright, so when I'm done, all I can do is, let's take a snapshot first. Once we're done, we click on Submit. Alright guys, and there you have it. So this is the final product huh? after I render. So as you can see, this is how I draw a home cinema using AI House. Alright, so if you are interested in all these contents, okay, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Alright, so give us a thumbs up and you may leave any comments down below. Alright, share your opinion of what you want to see me drawing next. Alright. So, on to next time, goodbye.